Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4. I'm Nick Oresco. We're working for you on this digital platform covering the top stories making headlines at this hour. But first, a look at your commuter traffic and weather with meteorologist Brian Lapis. Brian, we have some showers out there. Could impede some of that evening rush hour traffic. Yeah, you know, there may be a couple of moments where you run into a little rain, possibly a couple of pockets of heavier rain that could slow you down. A couple of things happening traffic wise right now. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, a, we've got a slowdown in downtown Springfield on I-91 South. It's right there, right in uh, downtown Springfield. And you know, typically uh, for the evening commute, that area is slow anyway, but this is a little bit earlier than average for that slowdown. And here's a look from the camera. You can see that uh, traffic is moving. It's moving but it's moving slowly. So just keep that in mind over the next couple of hours, maybe a bit of an extra wait to get through a downtown. You know what? Can we go back to the traffic map? Nick, please. Can we go back to the traffic map? Because there's another slowdown area that I wanted to point out. They're doing some guardrail work on uh, the Pike westbound in the Ludlow area. If you look closely here, you can see that red line on the map. So the left lane is closed, Mass Pike and Ludlow due to some guardrail work. So if you're going from Palmer or points east uh, and moving west into the Ludlow area on the Pike, if you're planning on doing that, you may run into a slowdown there. Okay. Let's go now to our 22 News Storm Team ESP Live Doppler Radar. A few showers moving through. You can see a little batch of showers, uh, heavier showers in Russell moving into Westfield and a couple of scattered showers over Franklin County as well, uh, just uh, east of Greenfield. So Montague, you're getting a little shower. Warwick, uh, scattered shower. And there could be a rumble of thunder in here. The chance for an isolated thunderstorm. The good news here is that we head into the evening commute just after 5 o'clock. We'll be into the drying trend. So these showers move out of here, I expect, shortly after 5 o'clock this afternoon. And then we've got some clearing on the way in uh, from the northwest. That clearing is going to cool us down in a big way. We'll talk about the cool down and the sunshine with our 22 News Storm Team Skycast. The Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield has announced that they have changed the date of the enshrinement ceremonies. The ceremonies will now be held October 12th and 13th. This change was due to the expanding schedule of the 2024 Summer Olympics. According to the Hall of Fame, the date change will continue to position the Hall of Fame event as a successful, well-produced, standalone event, not compromised by potential production conflicts. A 22 News follow up now on a death investigation in Greenfield. We're learning new information about the man charged with murder in connection with that homicide. 22 News went to Chapman Street apartment today where an unidentified man was found dead Monday night. That apartment is where the suspect, Daniel Herberger Brown, lived. A picture of the suspect was hanging on the front window in a printed copy of a 2021 Washington Post article profiling Herberger Brown as a volunteer at a local community kitchen. He was arrested yesterday at the Albany Airport. The victim has not been identified. Police have not yet announced how the victim died. Ex-tabloid publisher David Pecker testified again today in Donald Trump's New York hush money trial. Prosecutors looked through hundreds of tabloids praising Trump and extreme accusations about his rivals. Pecker said it was a secret agreement among friends to help Trump get elected. The plan included paying people off so they did not go public with negative stories. This comes as the judge is debating if Trump violated his gag order and be held in contempt for attacking trial witnesses online. He denies any wrongdoing. An animal shelter in Connecticut is asking for the public's help after a dog was found abandoned. According to the Tyler Regional Animal Care Shelter in South Windsor, officers were called to the Frank Needwerfer Wildlife Sanctuary around 11 o'clock Monday morning for a report of a barking dog. The dog's collar was attached to a tree. Army animal advocates are offering a $5,000 reward for any one able to provide information that leads to the arrest of the person allegedly responsible. South Windsor police are currently investigating. Over 3 million people on Medicare could soon be eligible for coverage for the popular weight loss drug Wegovy. 
This is according to the health policy research organization KFF, who also said some eligible benef beneficiaries could still face out of pocket costs for the drug. Certain Medicare prescription drug plans may also wait until 2025 to cover Wegovi. This comes following the FDA's approval of the drug for heart health last month. College football great Reggie Bush has his 2005 Heisman Trophy back following a rule change in the NCAA. Bush had the award taken away from him in 2010 after the NCAA found he was receiving illegal benefits during his time with the USC Trojans. The Heisman Trust president said he considered the enormous changes in college athletics over the last several years that now make some forms of athlete compensation allowable. Bush had more than 2,000 yards and scored 18 touchdowns in 2005. He received the fifth most first place votes in Heisman history. All right, Brian Levis back for another check on today's forecast, Brian. Yeah, I think the, the uh, big theme of the weather coming up here is the cool down that's going to be taking place here tonight. Let's take a look at temperatures on the map. 66 in Westfield, 60 in Greenfield, uh, 62 in Northampton and Springfield. And what's going to happen is, is these showers wind down this afternoon and the sky clears out, as shown here on the 22 News Storm Team Skycast from 5 o'clock uh, to 8 o'clock we go, and you can see see mostly clear a little bit of breeze out of the north that breeze will back off here overnight and by six o'clock tomorrow morning uh, temperatures are going to be in the 20s so we go from 60s in the afternoon to 40s in the evening to 20s early tomorrow morning so if you're trying to get a head start uh, on planting now's the time to protect your plants cover them or bring them inside at least we get a bright day here on thursday sunshine at noontime tomorrow light breeze out of the north and high temperatures that'll be in the mid 50s to 60 degrees another chilly night here tomorrow and we'll talk about the weekend on 22 news at five it's going to make america safer it's going to make the world safer, and it continues America's leadership in the world, and everyone knows it. It gives vital support to America's partners. President Biden today added his signature to an aid package that will provide money for Ukraine and other allies. The $95 billion aid package was approved by the Senate Tuesday after it cleared a major hurdle in the House. In addition to Ukraine, the bill provides support for Israel, humanitarian assistance for Gaza, as well as money for the Indo-Pacific region. The U.S. Department of Agriculture announced that school meals will get a makeover under new nutrition standards that limit added sugars for the first time. The limits would be required in the 2025-26 school year, starting with high sugar foods such as cereal, yogurt, and flavored milk. The goal would be to improve nutrition and align them with the U.S. dietary guidelines. The final rule also plans to trim sodium levels in breakfast by 10 percent and lunches by 15 percent by the 27-28 school year. Well, now for a look at what we're working on for 22 News starting at 5 tonight. 22 News anchor Taylor Knight sat down with Congressman Richard Neal for a one-on-one -on -one interview on a range of topics. What he has to say about the issues Western Massachusetts currently faces. And the second round of the school bus fleet deployment program has been given to five school districts in our area. See how this program will benefit Holyoke Public Schools. Plus, the 22 News Drum Team will give us a look at why there was so much precipitation this month. Here's a quick check of traffic again. Just a reminder that things are going a little bit more slowly than normal uh, here in downtown Springfield. And we've got ongoing guardrail work on the Pike westbound in Ludlow. They've got a lane closed there, so things are moving slowly between Palmer and Ludlow right now on the Mass Pike. Nick? All right, Brian, thank you, and that's it for now. Thanks for joining us this afternoon for 22 News at 4. Join us on TV starting tonight at 5. You can get all your local news and weather updates anytime on our website, wwlp.com, and on the 22 News app.